of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jari. Thank you for hitting the like button. I think you're really gonna like me. I do. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you three different eye looks that I created with the one and only Heavy Metals palette by Urban Decay. This is such a pretty palette. So you have your warms and you have some cool tone, then you have your pops of color. I am so obsessed. All the shadows in this palette are either like shimmery and metallic and I love them. I did use some of them wet and the majority dry. So I did create three looks for you guys. If you'd like to see what three looks I created with this one palette, Palette. keep watching so here is the palette we're gonna play around with this beautiful baby over here I'm not sure what I want to do because I definitely want to do a neutral look but then again I also want to do like a colorful look so I'm thinking let's start off with neutrals and then add some color like look one would be more of a neutral color and then uh, the second one I definitely want to do something with that green so we'll do something with like the green and then the third one will go bold and maybe do like amp which is like a nice teal or something I don't know we'll figure it out though we're gonna have fun so I don't know how you guys personally feel about like a shimmer shade all over your crease and lid I personally don't mind it I think it's like a really good look I mean JLo smokes out her crease and there's shimmer all over it so I don't see why I don't know, I think a lot of people think it's like a taboo thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I want, <laughs> let's have some fun. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that is Starfire, and with a big fluffy brush. I don't know how this is going to apply, so I'm just, we're gonna wing this, baby. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to apply that to the crease and blow it out. So it's going to be a blown out crease. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I don't mind shimmers up in there like that. Look at that. So I am definitely going to exaggerate it and just blend all the way out here. With a clean, fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color right next to Starfire, which is Demo, and this is like a chocolate metallic color, so pretty. So I'm basically focusing this color mainly like directly on the crease and on the outer edge of my eye because I want to go a little lighter up in the like inner corner area so we're gonna focus that color out in the outer crease section so I'm gonna take some of that color and just drag it out just a little bit and I want to go back in with the initial brush no extra product and just blend that edge out a little bit more. For the inner portion of the eye, I think I'm gonna use this color here, it's acoustic. It looks like a taupey kind of silver color. Um, we're gonna see how that applies with a flat eyeshadow brush. I feel like I want more intensity on the inner corner, so I am just gonna go ahead and wet my brush. Hopefully I don't ruin these shadows. Um, by wetting it, but I think you can use it where I haven't done my research. I, I just I just have the palette. All right, so that is the inner portion of the eye. I'm gonna go back in to demo and kind of blend them together because we want to keep the outer edge dark and the inner corner nice and light. And then I'm gonna blend this crease just so that we don't have any hard edges. I'm gonna add liner and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and use the very same colors, but I'm gonna work backwards. So I'm gonna use the color Acoustic with the same brush and I'm going to apply that on the bottom waterline. I'm gonna follow that color with Demo directly on the bottom of the waterline and then kind of blow that out and blend it out with Starfire. Finish your eyes off with whatever your favorite mascara is. 
So I know that this tutorial is basically focusing on the eyes, but I just want to show you how I would pair each eye look. So with this eye look, just because it is kind of like a neutral, but it's still kind of like glam, I would definitely do like a really brown lip. This is the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Matte Paints, and this one is in Cinnabon. I would definitely use something like this, nice and bold, just because I think it complements the eyes very well. Okay, so here is finished look number one with this Heavy Metals palette by Urban Decay. Okay guys, so I am back and I've reset literally everything. I've got dead face going on again and that is because we're going on to look number two. And so this one, I don't know, I want to play with color, I really do. But I feel like I did a purple and blue look last time. So I'm gonna try to do a green and teal, let's see. So I'm gonna do a green, actually no I don't know, maybe I'll do like a green and gold. Green and gold, green and gold. So we're gonna play around with these two colors right here. We've got the green one and we have the gold. The green's name is Mullet, Mullet. And then um, the gold is Twisted. So we're gonna use those two. We're gonna play with color today. I'm gonna go in to that gold color. It's like a rustic kind of gold color. We're gonna go ahead and add that gold to our inner corners. We're gonna pack it on and we're gonna be patient. I think with patience we can definitely build this color up um, a little more, at least to the intensity that I want, versus just like a, a wash of color. I want intense color. Um, so I'm gonna be patient. I'm just gonna pack it on. I'm gonna go in with that green, the mullet, and I'm gonna apply it on the outer corners of my eye, and I'm gonna once again, try to kind of like build the intensity for that color. Yeah, that's really nice. And I'm just gonna like flick out here because that's what I feel like doing today. I don't know why, but I do. I'm gonna go back in with some of that gold and apply it right in the center so that it can blend together with that green nicely. So I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and I am just blending out the edges because we did not use a transition color for this look. So we still want it to look blended and kind of polished but kind of grungy at the same time. I'm going to apply the same green color over on the bottom waterline. And that's it. I'm going to go into that inner corner with this gold Color. To finish off look number two, I just added some lashes. I did not add a winged liner. I felt like I wanted the emphasis to be more so on the eye and the colors used for this look. Um, I did add some black eyeliner on my waterline at the bottom just so that the, the green and the yellow that's on the bottom lash line can kind of like pop. Um, and that's it. This eye look is like, I would wear this to go out any day because I love green and I love yellow. So, and I find this look to be very wearable. Sometimes green tends not to be, but here's proof that it is. So um, just to kind of pair a lippy, I would use this one right here, very neutral. This is Seduction, um, and it's a lip lingerie by NYX. And here you go, look number two, paired up with a lippy. Okay, so we are ready for look number three. I will admit that my eyelids are hating me and so are my lips. We just did a hard reset, so I took everything off my eyelids and my lips and we're gonna go ahead and work on look number three. Today has been a long day. I've been battling this shirt that is supposed to be off the shoulder, but as I'm moving, it comes up. I've been dropping things left and right, and then I have a four-year-old coming into my beauty room asking when am I gonna give her an allowance for doing her chores, but yet she hasn't done any chores. So for this look, I definitely want to use this blue color here, Amp, but I need to use something on my crease. So I feel like I'm going to use this one right here. It's almost like a really dark gray, not quite black. Um, it can come off as black, but it's not. And this I'm going to apply on my crease. The color is ground. I'm going to use a clean, fluffy brush just to blend all of that out. 
So I know you're looking at this like, what the hell is she doing? But we're gonna pull this look together. This kind of smoked out, shimmery gray is very intense, but I need that intensity because I want this color amp to pop. So this is the blue color that I'm gonna use. It's almost like a turquoise kind of mermaid-ish blue, and it's shimmery and beautiful. We're gonna blend those edges out. So I am loving this look so far. I love the pop of blue, but I wanna use this silver right here and it's called Glam Rock. And I'm gonna do more like a spotlight effect to this look, so directly in the middle, just like a little pop of silver. So I went ahead for the sake of time and added my lashes. Now to finish off this spotlight eye, I wanna go ahead and use this purple here. It's called Metalhead and it's such a pretty purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I know I got blue at the top, but I'm gonna do purple. So I'm gonna grab a little blending brush and I'm gonna use that same purple and kind of like blend that out and smoke the bottom out a little bit more. I went ahead and added some uh, black eyeliner on my waterline and some mascara on my bottom lashes just to kind of bring the bottom portion of my eye back to life. The lippy I wanna add is this um, Infallible's Lip Paint the Matte one in Tongue Tide. This is another uh, nude that I personally love. I want the focal point of this look to be definitely the eyes. Obviously, I put a lot of work into these eyes. So I'm going to kind of mute out the lips with this lip color. I'm just going to use this. What is this? This is the Tardis Lip Paint in Delish. And I'm just going to dab a couple dots of this just to add more light to these lips. Because when I said I was going to mute them, I totally killed them. I really do like this look and this is look number three. So these are my three looks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I did have a lot of fun using this palette. My skin is hating me right now just because I really did go in and like take everything off, put it back on, take everything off, put it back on. So um, yeah, but this was a lot of fun and this is what I do consider playing around with makeup. The details on all the makeup products I use for all three looks will be in the description box down below, so don't forget to check down there. Also, don't forget to go check out Lala Badlands, um, and she's gonna be linked down below as well. Her swatch video, and then just her channel in general, because she's like super cool. I really do like her. She's so genuine, and she tells, says it like it is. She doesn't care if you like her or not. She's just like, bitch, please. Also, go check Pop Lux's channel. His name is Nady. I discovered him about two weeks ago as well, and I am so obsessed with him because he's just uh, I don't know I love his personality and he does not mind using color he's really good at using colors and I was like I need to do that too which is why 2018 will be the year of color for me um, I'll link them down below just go check them out let's all support each other um, that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have any questions uh, let me know down below I'm gonna say number two was my favorite. So which one was your favorite? One, two, or three? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.